here's my thing. The Hunger Games stopped Hunger Gaming. These movies stopped Maze Running. At least the Divergent movies kept diverging. Maze Runner The Death Cure is the third and possibly final movie in the Maze Runner series, of course based on the young adult novels. It brings back a lot of the characters you know and possibly love to finish it off. First one was a surprise success, the second one not so much. Where does the third one rank? Well, let's take a look with five things you might want to know about Maze Runner The Death Cure. You know what? I think this movie's actually okay, maybe even pretty good. Uh, it's hard to tell sometimes. Uh, let's talk about the details. I think the first thing is this. This is a third movie in a series that is dealing with the luggage, the baggage, I should say, of the first two films. That surprise fun that we had with the original Maze Runner, at least I did. The absolute stink that was the second one. All of that lingers here in an interesting way. So it becomes difficult to judge this movie on its own, but I think it does a good job bringing the series back on track. Look, I love these characters. As they were set up in the first one, I'm still invested in them, and it treats them well enough that I'm invested in this one too. The other thing it has going for it, and it's the thing I think I appreciate most about this series, is it's willing to take risks. It's willing to do things with its characters that other typical movies where you think you know exactly what's gonna happen, and they fake you out with things, and then they don't happen, this movie is willing to take enough risks and subvert those expectations in enough ways that it really does keep your interest more. So when characters may or may not die, well, they actually may or may not die. This movie has set up this universe where those kind of things can happen. And I really appreciate uh, a series like this that is willing to do that, that is willing to say, you know what, you think you've got this down, but we are gonna go our own way with the story and we're gonna take some risks doing it. So here's where we reach the crux, I think, of whether or not you're gonna enjoy this movie. We're gonna do a yellow where I think your view on this aspect is going to determine how you feel overall about the film. Uh, this movie's a little silly, a little ridiculous. It has those typical action movie, plot convenience, plot points, especially the final resolution in this movie. It's so silly, it doesn't make a lot of sense. If that stuff distracts you, if it annoys you, if that's why you don't like movies, I don't think you're gonna enjoy this movie. Now for me, I'm willing to overlook it if I'm having a good time, and more importantly, if the movie has a sense of who it is. If it understands that it's not here to be you know, a perfect storytelling device, but it's here to be an experience for you, I can kind of get on board with that, and I think this movie does that enough for me, but I don't think that will be the same for everyone, so be warned. Now, that's not saying this is a great movie. In fact, there's plenty of negatives here, even beyond the silly action. And one of them kind of has to do with that. I don't mind that silly action, like I mentioned, but it has to be cohesive. And I don't know that this movie, as an overall product, is cohesive enough for it to make complete sense plot and story-wise. And I think the reason is very typical for these book-to-movie adaptations. They're trying to squeeze a lot of book plot into a movie plot, and it just feels sporadic, and it feels like it's jumping all over the place. So you lose your balance with what's going on. A really good editor is so important with these scripts. Somebody who's willing to kill their babies, so to speak, who's willing to go, you know what, this is an important thing to maybe people who read the book, but for us it's not gonna work, so let's really narrow it down. This movie doesn't do that, and I think it suffers because of it. <laughs> The other reason this movie could have used a uh, better editing of the script or story or movie or whatever is it's just too long. This movie really feels its length. I think it came in at about 2.20, somewhere along 
that range. And there were moments in the movie where I'm like, come on, are we not done yet? Do we really need this scene, this padding? There were those scenes that just felt like they didn't need to be there. That's never a good experience in a movie when you want to look at your watch. Uh, but I was at a theater where like zero tolerance on phones, so I didn't check my phone. I was a good boy. Mm -hmm. Overall, I feel like this possibly finishing uh, story into the Maze Runner series is a good way to go out. It's still a decent movie, lots of fun. It's a little too long, there's some problems, but overall I enjoyed it enough to give it a B minus. And I will say this about it as well. Uh, I actually kind of want them to make the other two movies. I know they won't unless this one's really successful, but I know there are two more books and I really do like these characters in universe. And I think if they did it right, uh, it could be a lot of fun, but I don't, I don't think that's happening. Uh, before we get to our best ever challenge, just a couple things that I wanted to let you know about going on here at Your Movie Friend. Uh, you can follow me on Twitter, Aaron Dicer, A-A-R-O-N-D-I-C-E-R. -E just launched the Sif Pop Oscar party on Twitter, uh, so you might want to go check that out. Get your picks in uh, and have a lot of fun. The winner gets to uh, say something on Sif Pop Podcast, which is another thing you can check out. Subscribe to the podcast with whatever podcast player that you use. Uh, just search for Sift Pop, S-I-F-T-P-O-P, -P, and you should find it pretty quickly. Thanks for subscribing on YouTube, commenting on the video, all that kind of stuff is really fun. I uh, love having you in that community. And thank you so much for your support. Uh, we have a Patreon, patreon.com slash yourmoviefriend. It is how I am supported to do these reviews. It's the reason I'm able to put the time in and have the equipment to do two movie reviews every week for you. Uh, in this format. So thank you for doing that. It's just three bucks a month. If you'd consider it, go to patreon.com slash your movie friend. Uh, there are some pretty fun perks there. We've got our Patreon hangout coming up here pretty quickly. So go check all that out. All right, on to the best ever challenge where you name the best movie ever in a particular category. Also try to identify my choice. Uh, let's go with best movie ever with the word run in it. Now you can get creative. That can be anywhere, you know, running, runner, maybe be part of another word, but it has those three consecutive letters, are you in, in it somewhere. I'm gonna have to go with the one that forever changed the way I look at chicken pot pies. Take a guess at mine in the comments. First person to get it right does get a point. As always, I'll give you a few extra seconds here. Uh, just click my face to subscribe once you see it. 